This is Steve of Steve for Bees. Please find us at steveforbees.us. S T E V E, the number four, B E E S dot US. Since AZ hives work from the back in instead of from the top down, like Langstroth hives, the frames are very different. On a Langstroth, the top and the bottom are smooth. On a Langstroth, you will find ears on both ends. These ears rest on the hive body of the Langstroth hive. The AZ, the top and the bottom are concave. They are hollowed out. Also on an AZ, notice there are no ears. On a Langstroth, you will find that the end bars have wings. That's this wide area on the top. On an AZ, the end bars are straight up and down. On a Lang, you will have these ears, and it's these ears that get glued to the hive body of the Langstroth box. In fact, if you look, you can see this line of wood to the darkness, and that's, that's propolis, you see it right there. It's on both ends, and that's what they glue together. And that's right on Langstroth, you have to go in and you have to pry up to pop these things loose because they've been glued to the hive body. On the end bars of a Lang box, you have this long area here, and it's this area right here that the bees also will glue together. So, I mean, it's about four inches and three eighths thick. It's quite an amount of surface area, and that's a lot of area for the bees to glue. And they will glue frame after frame after frame, all 10 of them sometimes, all together. And you have to put your pry bar in there and pop these apart to get them apart. In fact, if you look at this frame, Notice on the section right here, corresponding to that ear, has a propolis on it. All, of them, all four sides on this hive, on this hive frame, all four sides have that propolis. On an AZ, the frame rests on three rods. One rod near the front, one rod in the middle, one rod back here. These rods are round. That round basically makes a very small contact with the bottom of the AZ frame. Also, these things being concave minimizes the surface area. So you have a tiny little amount of area here and here. The whole design is to minimize surface area contact between the frame and the hive body. It's a very small surface area here. Also, the end bars are held apart. No wings, but the frame spacers. The frame spacers are designed to keep apart each of the frames with proper bee space. These frame spacers are very thin. Sheet metal. And that sheet metal in contact with the wood, notice only a little area right here contacts the frame. So the space, once more, the area, surface area that contacts the hive body, which is this frame spacer, is minimal. You will have four of these per level in an AZ hive. One near the bottom, one near the top, and the front and the back. Again, very minimal amount of space actually contacts the hive body. It's this factor, the very design of an AZ hive that 
ensures a minimal amount of propolis in an AZ hive, as opposed to a Langstroth. And, and that's why I believe that AZ hives are superior at minimizing the propolization of the inside of a, of a hive. I really hope that this discussion has educated you about the benefits of an AZ hive and has taught you how and why AZ hives minimize the propolization of the frames to the hive body. Will you find propolis in other parts of the hive? Yes. But the problem of the frames being propolized to the hive body is extremely minimal. It's, it's almost non-existent. And anything that does happen can be easily snapped loose just with your finger presser. No need really for a crowbar. So again, thank you again for watching this video. This is Steve for Steve for Bees. Dot us. Thanking you for watching. Have a good day.